Good afternoon. The Newbery Award winner book that I chose for my reading log was The Midwife's Apprentice by Karen Cushman. The reason I chose this book was because it was based in medieval England in the 14th or 15th century and being born and raised in England, um, studied English history in college. Um, I figured I would choose this book to, to look at the descriptions of life in medieval England and I thoroughly enjoyed it for that reason. The major character in the story is Alice. She has several different names. She started off with Brat and then Beetle, which she was named by Jane, the midwife's apprentice, based on the title of the book because she was in the first pages she was sleeping in a dunghill for, for warmth. Um, Alice suffers from a lack of confidence, and she's taken in by Jane, the midwife's apprentice, in order to learn a trade. Throughout the book, there are, there are mistakes that are made and ups and downs, but by the end, Alice goes back to, to Jane after a series of adventures as a self-confident um, apprentice who can deliver her own babies with success. Um, Jane, the midwife's apprentice, is tough on Alice. Um, however, the only time she really gets disappointed is an incident where Alice actually quits um, and gives up. And Jane takes Alice back at the end simply because Alice now refuses to give up. It's an excellent lesson for young children um, as they learn new skills and even older students as they go through high school and into college. The other major character in the book is an innkeeper who helped Alice after she left the midwife's apprentice after an argument. Um, but after working in an inn, she ultimately ends up back with Jane as the midwife's apprentice. As I've said earlier, the major theme of this book is one of how you can live through self-doubt, self-confidence, the beginning of the book, Alice is teased by the boys in the village, but ultimately she's respected because she helped deliver babies. And you can also see that Jane, the midwife's apprentice, although difficult, ultimately respects Alice as she takes her back at the end of the novel. The activity I chose for this particular book, because there's no illustrations, is perhaps have the students create a storyboard. I use storyboards in my class, social studies classes, so kids can illustrate out significant historical events, uh, much like they do in Hollywood when they make movies. There's also an electronic version of this called Storyboard That, which I posted on my reflection, which I think might be interesting for students that have access to computers. Um, so again, thoroughly enjoyed the story, a lot of it because it was based in England. Um, great description for historical fiction and a good story for young people to learn to get through a lack of confidence and doubts about how intelligent or smart they are um, and when with adult help they can really succeed. Thank you.